Man, that's amazing. It really is. Uh, I mean, I'm so glad we met. This is great. I said, what else? Okay, we've got Sam with us. Sam. We are back. We're not doing that every time. I haven't said that in a while. All right, one time today. <laughs> we've got Sam with us. Sam, I'm going to let you do just a quick, brief self-introduction. Give us your name, who you work for, and what you do. Hey, guys. I'm uh, Samuel Beaupre. I work for Geoplus. Uh, it's a software company based out of Montreal. Uh, recently, we have an LLC open in Florida, so nice. Ooh, expansion coming. Nice. Interesting. And, yeah, and it's a nice... Uh, it's, Winter are pretty hard in Montreal, so it, it, it's going to be a nice excuse to, to escape the call a little bit. Yep. It's actually my dad's business. We've oh, been cool. in business for 36 years. So, wow. Um, yeah. Good so. for you. Well, we're going to get more into that in a second. First of all, where are you from? Montreal. You said Montreal. Uh, right? North Shore of Montreal, uh, Laval. Okay. For, for okay. If you know. Okay, cool. Let's get into the company. You said you guys have been in business for 20, 36, 36 years. years. Your dad has. 1987. Wow. And how, so, how did he get started with this? Um, very, very cool story. He, he actually went to college in Quebec City he, uh, to be a land surveyor. It's pretty big in Quebec. It's, and then he did a master in computer in 85, I believe. And this was his master's project. So Really? It, yeah. Unreal. So it was in uh, DOS and some, some forgotten language. Uh -huh. uh, did he have like what? Because you guys have a lot of different products here. Uh, yeah, which, is, what was the first well, product right. that was his uh, master's thesis thing? So every product started with Vision, and I think it was Vision Plus. Vision Plus. If, if okay. Correct. And okay. it's used to be a plugin for Hotokan. Yep. And I'm not sure, or I can I can really not answer what was look, I, Hotokan was looking like in '85. I could probably uh, tell you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> what it uh, wasn't great. What was the initial intent? of vision the what was the whole point of what the plug and what did it do uh it really to uh it, it's it's still the core of the business it's really to to help streamline uh field finish process processes i'm sure it wasn't called this way in, in back in the 80s sure but it's really to take uh from the reality of the field to bring it to a 2d plan uh optimi optimize those, those processes and um, like I said, it, it was a very different world, but uh, the, still today, the, what's what's value, what's worth money is, is a 2D plan signed by an engineer or a land surveyor. So it's still still part of our culture to mm. really. And now we lidar and everything. Yep, we're much more advanced, but it's still uh, to even if you with BIM plan, it's still a 2D plan that that that's the piece of paper that's. Uh, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is so cool. I'm so glad we're having this conversation. I, now I'm checking out all the different products that you guys have, and uh, yeah, I mean everything from you know, Vision Plus, which is automation of surveying process, just yes. like you described. There's, you know, what's this one here? Vision, LR LRS. Reference yeah, objects we, to your linear past, vision. So, so uh, I would say our biggest product right now is Vision LiDAR and Vision LiDAR 365 is the SAS version. Okay. So this is the LiDAR is the future. Yep. It's, it, it's, that's where we're aiming. So we still have uh, Vision Plus, Vision Civil. That, that they are plug-in for AutoCAD, uh, mm -hmm. MicroStation, and more recently, BrewScout. <laughs> Um, but yeah, our focus is really on LiDAR in 3D, mm -hmm. optimizing uh, those processes. But there's a bunch of other products because we've been working with uh, Quebec DTO since 1988, I believe. So we, sure. we develop a couple application. It's still on our website, but it's, it's yeah. very niche uh, to, uh, sure, yeah. to our... Uh, to our uh, to where, where, where I live and also the Hydro, Hydro Quebec is a public energy company uh, in Canada. We, we've been, uh, their land surveyor are using our software since I, I believe also it was 1988 or wow. close wow. to the space. So it's been, uh, yeah. So how, how big is the company? Uh, we're close to 30, uh, we think it's 26. Okay. Yep. And uh, who, like, who are most your clients? Is there like a, a certain demographic that you target to? Uh, I see you on the website. It says you have over sixty-one thousand users. So, yeah, tell us about some of those users. Yeah, in the, in the, in the right now in the over forty countries. So very very happy, very uh, it's awesome. international. It's it, in, like, super super happy to be here. And at Intergeo, most of our client were. Back in the days, land surveyor, civil engineer, that have, that have been our focus for for a lot of years. But the point cloud really bring us to a different world. 
now there's so many applications coming out with with AI and, and cloud and coming in the next year I think is we're, we're trying to catch a wave to surf it uh, but a, l- a lot of good things are coming and now um, like manufacturing is a, is a industry we never thought about it but uh, we we signed up uh, I think it was four years ago group Reno the, the car manufacturer oh yeah and uh, they do a nice and, and Mitsubishi as well mm-hmm. so all their factory in the world are uh, scanning 3d they had their model and they have they can it's, it's a SaaS application so mm-hmm. they can access the let's say they can have a meeting in France and they have a factory in Turkey and they even have VR modes that they can walk to the factory oh right wow so this Super is cool and like I said we never thought about it but you just the doing these these trade show a little bit uh, uh, across the world and they just came by our boot and they yeah. liked us so we, we developed it for, for them so it looks like you have I mean the whole suite of applications like 12 to 15 different applications maybe I would say our main focus is really vision lidar uh, the SAS version mm-hmm. uh, vision plus vision uh, there's also like uh, vision Cadas, it's like for cadastral uh, mm-hmm. application. Yeah, Kadastra, very, yeah. like I said, another mm-hmm. very niche uh, yep. part of land surveying. Yep. Uh, but it's it's pretty big in Canada. I'm, I'm not sure about the U.S. But uh, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, certain parts for sure. Um, I mean, when when your lens worth money, it's uh, usually mm. it comes with it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Very interested in that one myself. Uh, are so what what is the business model like? Do you purchase the software? Is it like uh, can you get like the whole suite if you wanted to? Uh, I mean, yeah, but it, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. And and is there is is there a company? I mean, I guess some of the huge ones, but who would need every single one of these? <laughs> uh, I don't think there's a lot. It's, uh, like I said, this this. Uh, it's 36 years in business, so it's mostly a Lancer Air, civil engineer. But the point cloud, now we're getting more and more into indoors. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of people, so I think I, I can spe- maybe speak a little more about Vision LiDAR. This is re- really the product I'm, I'm pushing and yeah. I want to I bring forward. Um, we do deep learning classification on it. And, and um, the, 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 the biggest thing is uh, we, we let the user uh, the ability to create their own uh, deep learning model with, with machine learning. So you you only need a recent NVIDIA card. Quickly, in, when the product came out in 2017, um, there was a lot of mathematical uh, calculation or algorithm for to classify the point cloud. But deep learning, the, those NVIDIA, NVIDIA cards, I'm sorry, change change the game uh, completely because there's it's it's so good. The, 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 and the difference with, with uh, machine learning between uh, picture and, and 3D, for picture you get, you need sometimes 2,000 images, 5,000 images too, because it's it's a pixel and there's so many so many uh, options for a pixel. Mm-hmm. Uh, but 3D, the geometry is it's it's such it's so distinct. Sometimes you only need 10, 10 to 12 little sample size, some mm-hmm. simple data to create your model and bring it. You can always retrain it, bring it more robust. Mm-hmm. But with 10 to 12. 10 to 12 let's say you can you can have a pretty decent uh, hmm. classification model so that's that's where we bring forward that's what we're, we're presenting here at, uh, at intergeo that's and this is what uh, sells more internationally let's say oh sure do so, you partner with other like software developers yes yes of course uh, always open to, for partnership um, on top of my head I, I'm thinking uh, I, I, again I'm bringing uh, hydro Quebec back uh, a project with the research project I, I believe we did for them. Um, we we mix our deep learning algorithm for point cloud, and they mix the imagery. Ah. So they were they were trying to uh, do deep learning for what type of foliage, what type of trees were mm-hmm. uh, along the power line, and they were making estimation from what what type of tree might might be problematic in the two, three, six months, or make be- better estimation of what sure. tree uh, what tree can. Uh, can, can 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 become pro- problematic. Sorry, I'm. I'm a, I need to have a sip of beer. <laughs> so does it does the different softwares do they integrate with like Autodesk and and uh, Bentley or MicroStation? Yep, they do. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's and, awesome. And I don't want to brag, but also Briscad way before Exagon bought them. So we oh, wow. were, we were uh, we, like, again. I, I'm not sure how they have they done it, but it's a it's a very nice product, and we've been with them. Um, I believe it's been 10 years or something, right? I mean, we were pretty much uh, the first athletes in Canada to, to uh, start selling them. And wow. and it was a nice alternative to AutoCAD, much cheaper than, than AutoCAD. And I think 
And since Hexagon bought them, it's just skyrocketed the, the, right. the product. Yeah. And how about on the hardware side? Is there, uh, you know, certain manufacturers, or do you work with all the different manufacturers? That's yeah, that, and that's the thing. We don't sell any hardware, so we do. We, we're trying to find, find a way to be a little, a little bit different. A lot of our, our clients, they, let's say they have a, they have a Faro, they have a RTC 360 from Leica, yep. and more recently they, a Navis, like a VLX, and they all have different software and mm-hmm. different different platform they, they, they're using so we're trying to take every every data every every data source and integrate it in, into our software that's that's how we, we stay uh, relevant I would say yeah. or different oh sure and uh, yeah so that that's when it, it comes into play because like I said no we're not a hardware company and most of yeah. the hardware seller like give sure. a little software for a year or at least to yeah to get the, the data out of, of the machine so but we do have a partnership with the uh, LiDAR USA in the US, the uh, amateurs in France, and um, cool. a, couple, a couple of scatter in here, here, here and here, but there's yeah. no exclusivity or we just uh, in good terms with sure. everybody. Yeah. And so I'm just curious on the evolution of how you, you know, from where it started and, you know, you saw this your entire lifetime. So. I mean, I grew up in it. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, I mean, uh, talk about how some of the different products come online. Is it like a client has a need and you guys figure out how to make that work? Or did your dad go out there and say, well, the next thing we need is a plug-in to calculate, you know, stockpile volumes. And it's like, how did, how did that happen? How do yeah. you evolve to have 20 products on, on, on the market? I would say your first answer uh, It's pretty much... Well, any or any base of a business is you. There's a need. You get a solution, and hopefully there's money in the end. Sure. So, so pretty much evaluate the needs. You talk with clients. It's been like that. Like, like I said, huge client. We do. We can do personalized application, like a like a bunch of product you, you mentioned on on the website. Uh, but we and also we we try to we try to narrow it down because sometimes you can get lost into it and and you. Like you, there's no perfect product. You cannot do. I don't sure. think there's a, one size fits all. So, it, like I said, we're trying to we're trying to be different. We're trying to uh, be more innovative. And in the recent year has been with with the deep learning and the Nvidia card. Uh, yeah. Uh, so to be a successful software company, uh, I have to believe your customer support, your technical support, has got to be top notch. Exactly. And this is and this is how we stay uh, again different because we're still a human sized business. And obviously, with time zone, it's not it's not always easy. We we got a we got a um, support team that, that I love. Thank you, Antonio, back home. Sometimes he wakes <laughs> up at night for uh, people in Hong Kong. So oh, wow. uh, yeah, but with Europe, it's pretty easy. I, I like uh, I try to do a meeting in the morning, and then it's the afternoon for them. But yeah, definitely, we I, I believe we try the. Uh, I, we, we always try to give an answer in the next two hours, and you get a call from somebody in the, in the next 24 hours. Wow. Man, that's amazing. It really is. Uh, I, mean, I mean, I'm so glad we met. This is great. Uh, Sam, what else do you want, you want to get out there? Any, anything for uh, the listeners or anything they, they need to know more about the company? Uh, yeah, please go on the website, geoefen, if my English is correct, plus.com. Yep. Um, <laughs> so geoefenplus.com. Uh, we do have a web uh, YouTube page. Uh, we do have uh, an Instagram. We TikTok a little bit. We're always, always trying to try new things. And if you're into geo, please come by our boot. Uh, try our product. Like I said, we're trying to. Sometimes you you try to narrow it down to to what application. And and like I said, we're trying to. If if sometimes it's some outside of uh, too outside of the box, we're trying to think. Does it help fill the finished processes? Because it's really been the core of the business. Sure, yeah. where, this, this is what we're good at, and this is where, uh, in French, I would say uh, "tirer les pains du jeu," and uh, I'm not sure. It's it, like I said, just trying to be trying to be innovative and different. Yeah, nice. I love it. Great website, also. Yeah, thank you. I love it. it yeah, just, we just redone it. So, uh, oh, did you? I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll let them know. I think it's great. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thanks for stopping by. It's been great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, we really enjoyed it. Thank yeah, you. Appreciate it. Likewise.